Welcome to a new vlog. Today we'll have a rather short video discussing a few things about the Sanko 737G spot welding machine. This one I reviewed in vlog 198. So in that video someone reported in the comments that their unit was having a high resistance on the ground path to uh, the metal chassis. So I decided to measure mine knowing that it's possible to find the high resistance which could uh, uh, mean a, uh, a risk in case something happens. So because the uh, screw acting as the ground point, which is uh, right here on the chassis, uh, it's sitting on top of a painted case, which is not ideal because it doesn't make perfect electrical contact. I was surprised to find out that from the ground point uh, to the end of the power cord, all the way up to uh, the metal chassis, I was measuring 1.1 ohms. Um, I was expecting uh, much worse because of all of that paint on the metal chassis and uh, the improper contact, but it was still a, a value at, uh, of 1.1 ohms. Nonetheless, I've decided to clean that grounding point. I used the Dremel to remove the paint around that screw. And after fitting everything back together, I was measuring 0 0.8 ohms, which is an okay value. There was also an issue with some uh, loose screws. There were these ones holding the uh, transformer affixed to the case. Um, I'm not sure if they came undone during transportation or this is just bad quality control at the factory, but you should check yours and uh, fix these uh, screws if the problem is present. People were also curious about the welding current because the, uh, someone reported in the comments that their unit was not um, doing good welds like I showed in, in my review video. So I used my Unity AC clamp meter to measure the current on one of the secondary output wires from the transformer. I used the max function on the meter and with the machine turned on to maximum time, uh, I recorded 130 amps. I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is because the pulses are very short and it may very well be a case where my clamp meter is not able to accurately measure those short pulses, but I don't think the meter will, uh, will show uh, greater than the real value, maybe less than the real value. For comparison, my DIY spot welder made from a microwave oven transformer is measuring 200 amps on the same meter, and I haven't even set it to max power. But more on that in a future video because I just got that project working and I need some time to prepare the video. People also said that it will be harder to weld pure nickel strips. So I've ordered some of those from AliExpress. At least they claim they're pure nickel strips and I'll give those a try when I receive them. Depending on what type of battery packs you use, you might care about using pure nickel strips because of their lower resistance. In my case, I'm building small 4S battery packs which run currents of up to 20 amps. So I don't think the pure nickel strips are going to make a difference. I don't really need them. But if you do need them, it would be interesting to see if the machine can weld those as well. So that's all I had to share so far. This was a quick update on the spot welding machine to answer some questions and to show you uh, some of the problems I've been having with the unit and how I'm solving them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description and maybe hit the like button to help the channel. I'll see you in next video. Bye.